All right, before you start this video, I just want to say what follows is the result of my research in Earth 2. And all that I ask is that you like or dislike this video based on the content of that research and not whether you want Earth 2 to succeed or not to succeed, which can be difficult if you have a financial interest in Earth 2. But with that out of the way, let's get into it. Good evening, YouTube. So. I want to share something real quick. I was minding my own business this Sunday when Cora poked me with a notification. A little bit of a sidebar, I was watching the Netflix movie Social Dilemma this weekend. Highly recommend. Uh, but I fell trap to Cora's notification and opened their app and began scrolling. After a quick peruse, I ran into this post, which looked interesting. Note that it's a promoted post, I try to avoid these at all costs, but against my own good, I began to read about this thing called Earth 2. To save you the time, it's basically a company that has decided it will duplicate the Earth into 10 by 10 meter segments and sell those as plots of land in a digital world. Eventually, it sees augmented reality AR and virtual reality VR taking place in this digital world. Maybe something kind of like a Second Life, if you've ever heard of that video game, but cool. Nothing wrong with that. Where I began to have some red flags pop up when literally in the first sentence of this promo is, values are increasing by 1% an hour. I'm no math major, but 1% an hour compounded is 27 or so percent a day. And if you, you know, extrapolate that out to a year, you'll end up with something like 7 times 10 to the 39th percentage. Um, yeah, that's, that's more money than there is in the whole world by a long shot, so... Now that we've got that unrealistic expectation out of the way, this post on Quora goes on to say that there's five sources of income for Earth 2. Um, for example, land value, potential opportunities to buy low and sell high. Conveniently, he fails to mention the opportunity to buy high and sell low, or I guess the miss opportunity. Um, earn big returns. Next, land income tax. Tax, from what I understand, you get a percentage of the sale of land in a country where you also own land. So it sounds like the more people that use the game and buy land, the more that you will make. Hmm. Sounds like you're being almost paid to recruit new users. Uh, what's what's next? Oh, you no, you actually literally get paid to recruit new users. Uh, now, referral programs are actually very normal, and there's not much harm with them to uh, recruit new users. Uh, you know, for example, Uber or DoorDash or whoever, um, whoever you recruit, they'll normally offer 10% off of their first order, and you'll also get like 10% off of your next order. That's fine. That's sustainable. But note that those companies don't give you like 10% off of all of your orders for life. Which, yeah, it looks like this referral system is 5% off of all future purchases. Yikes. How, but I mean, at least they're not like giving percentages of who your referrals refer. Because like that is the literal definition of a Ponzi or pyramid scheme. Some other income ways that will be available later. Yeah, those require many things to go as planned. So for present day purposes, they're not terribly relevant. As I continued to research, a common theme that I saw is people are comparing this to other extremely risky and speculative assets, aka it happened once, it could happen again. And I mean, you're not wrong, but you're flirting with a, a gambler's fallacy there. This example is comparing it to some guy's website where he came up with the idea to have 1 million pixels and sold each of the pixels for a dollar. So it was a 1,000 by 1,000 grid. Um, you know, nothing, no harm there. But note who got rich there. Is it the guy selling the pixels or was it the people buying them? 
And to the conclusion, he says, basically, I would put a couple hundred dollars into it. And remember that if you put a couple hundred dollars into it, he'll make 5% of a couple hundred if you use his referral code. And yeah, of course, he, he gave his referral code. Another theme I see with these Earth 2 posts is trying to give credibility to the company. This example is confirming that Dylan So, apologies if I mispronounced that, is a freelance worker for Earth 2 doing business advising. Now, I'm not sure if I'd call advising working on Earth 2, but okay, sure. I did some further digging through YouTube and was disappointed, but not surprised as to how many videos there are promoting this. And notice that, yeah, every one of them is giving out their referral code. But it seems like people are advertising this over many different forms of social media. I've seen some younger people mentioning they're finding about it via TikTok, which is what I'm showing here. This video and some others are even comparing it to Bitcoin. And when I say some are comparing it to Bitcoin, that is quite the understatement. And that little like symbol you see there, that was done by Earth2 themselves. So let's let's actually compare this to Bitcoin. Let's Let's look at Bitcoin's website. How many times do they tell you that you can make tons of money buying Bitcoin. Nothing on the main page. Maybe we can find something in the FAQ. Let's do a control F for money. No, no, no. Bingo. You should never expect... Oh, dang. Well, that we're comparing this to someone's post that we were looking at on Quora. Let's actually check Earth2, Earth2's website, earth2.io. Hmm, starting off by putting a ticker at the top of land going up like 35,000%. Yeah, that's not sustainable, but okay, it's it's subtle, subtle enough. Maybe they haven't actually said anywhere that this will make you money. And scrolling down here, you know, I, I will give them credit. This video, it does look pretty slick. Uh, yada, yada, yada. Ooh, make profit now. Well, that's pretty blatant, and I don't think I need to elaborate on that anymore. The next thing I wanted to briefly talk about is getting money in and out of Earth 2. Getting money in is very easy with many different options from PayPal to credit cards. However, withdrawing is a different story, and I'm not surprised you can't withdraw via credit card. Credit cards are more of a one-way type of transaction. However, I am surprised you cannot receive money from PayPal. Maybe that would be too easy because these are the hoops you have to jump through to withdraw. Only via ACH and you have to give them all this info. And via email. Why is this not built into your Earth2 account? Maybe having users withdraw wasn't part of the plan. I'm joking. Kind of. And if they're doing this via email, then it's not automated. Here's an email withdrawal confirmation from Earth2 that someone got. Notice that deposits are automated, but the withdrawals are not. Hmm. And now, as the magician says, for my final trick, I will disappear. Well, not me, just your dollars. Before giving your money to any website, you should always read the terms and conditions. And I'm going to be honest here, I'm not reading this whole thing. Ain't nobody got time for that. But just a quick skim gave me two massive red flags. The first being this typo. Did they not have anyone proofread this? And then the big kicker, the moment you've all been waiting for. We reserve the right in the future to convert your holding of virtual land or any equivalent credits held in the Earth2 platform to an equivalent value of a cryptocurrency that we may create in the future. Any conversion will be conducted at a valuation reasonably determined by us. So, in other words, 
Whenever they get tired of letting people withdraw USD, they will let you withdraw, or I'm sorry, they will make you withdraw Earth 2 bucks. Or, if you're lucky, maybe even Shroot bucks. This is a Shroot buck. What is the cash value of a Shroot buck? Excellent question, Pam. One one hundredth of a cent. So 10,000 of your dollars is worth one real dollar? Just zip your lid. That's the extent of my research. Long story short, I will not be putting any of my money into Earth2.io anytime soon. I envision that the developers will continue to keep pumping up land value until eventually too many users start to initiate withdrawal requests and they will halt withdrawals and the house of cards will begin to fall. However, I think they will still let you withdraw, but they will let you withdraw in their own cryptocurrency. And when they flip this switch, they will remind you of all the development that they have planned and the potential value that this cryptocurrency could have. However, I see that development trickling to a halt and ultimately they will perform an, an exit scam. However, with all of this, I still think you can make money in Earth 2 as long as you can withdraw in time and beat the ticking time bomb. Lastly, I haven't given you a quote yet, so I will finish this video with if it's too good to be true, it probably is. Good night. We'll see you in the next video. In fact, I'll give you a billion Stanley Nichols if you never talk to me again. What's the ratio of Stanley Nichols to shrewd bucks? The same as the ratio of unicorns to leprechauns. Okay.